consciousness. It is known as the individual state of awareness and knowing of our internal and external presence. It is also thought of as our psychological understanding, medically altered states, spiritual acknowledgement and belief of our purpose in life. It arranges our perception, thoughts and feelings of the world around us, providing an ability to be responsive to our surroundings, all while creating a reality and sense of existence. When sleeping, being in a coma or under anesthesia, consciousness appears to be absent. Although during our dreams as we sleep, there is a conscious experience. The mystery of locating that switch in our brains, which shifts between these states, has not been found, nor solved. Scientists have struggled for over a thousand years to answer the question as to where our consciousness comes from. Despite advances in neuroscience in recent times, we still don't understand what generates consciousness. It is a psychological construct because it exists, yet it cannot be physically measured or observed, as we cannot look inside someone's head to see what they're thinking, feeling, or perceiving. This concept is a thought-provoking and mysterious part of all of our lives, so I want to portray it in a way the audience could comprehend. How can we understand consciousness and the awareness of one's existence for what we know? And what does it truly feel like to be you? Let me show you. Your perspective is unique and nobody else on earth will see it the way you do. Your consciousness is your core individuality, your sense of self and your reality. Such levels represent this. Level one, conscious. Our thoughts, perception, actions, and analysis. Level two, subconscious. Our memories, emotions, beliefs, knowledge, and identity. And level three, unconscious. Our fears, trauma, violent motives, drives of self-actualization, and universal meaning. Is it this complex system of interactions and evaluations integrating all of our sensory experiences into a single reality or we can narrow it down as our consciousness? Or is consciousness more than that? If we develop consciousness from our brains, then our consciousness dies with our body. Although, if it's from an external source, then that means it's connected to somewhere in the universe.